scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Don't ever let anyone fool you. Hearing is our Father glorified. John 15 and verse 8. This is how I am glorified. Galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says, And they glorified God in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you are a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous For as long as your life is ordinary, your ministry is ordinary, your business is ordinary, you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain. Let me tell you, God takes away shame from our lives by giving us results. Did you hear what I said? God does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody. He does something in your life and he does it in a way like Julius Berger will build a house and put B. God will do it and put his signature. They'll say, no, this business cannot be human. I hear testimonies of people every time. The things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen i believe him i may not claim i know everything about him but this god when god decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? So when he decides to stand up and say, who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming? The Bible says, even the mountains keep like lambs. My God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says, if God could move, didn't man of God pray for you in, by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say, it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight, your faith must be open. Your faith must rise to the heavens to say, Lord, I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed. I want to know what happened to me. I want to hold a substance. God is speaking to someone here. This, this sharing the grace and saying, ah, were you blessed? Oh my God, miracle service was powerful. That's not a blessing, no. You can hold on to something and know that I left this place. What happened? The pain is gone. I left this place. What happened? 
that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came i knew that i got it i knew that i got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute i'd like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing.
Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. Atabalakatoselia my loved ones are not born again lord i can't watch them go to hell like this don't be tired of praying Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can't you do what can't you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the Spirit of the Lord we're reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says 
the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. Just like a train, just passed like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I in overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but where will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus
the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. There is an anointing that must shift you. Must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, shift them to their destinies. Please, you will need to help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying for some of you now it's the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. No more delay. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road. I stretch my hands right now. I move people. God is moving people here. I decree it. I declare. I decree. I declare. I decree. I declare. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It must work for you. I shift you. No more delay in your life. Shakatos keparakato shekata. This lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit 
those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now i command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and at the count of three everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of jesus i crush satan i crush his works inside outside i command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me 
but in the name of Jesus hear me the Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as I pass here I don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now I stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katarika Egeto Satarikata Embreketo Seketa Akato Sekriaka Manta Brekotos Let them go 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 now the spirit of sorcery I cause it now the spirit of witchcraft I cause it now please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves go go be free I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here I want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as I pass this place listen I want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors I'm only going to pass here right there as soon as I come close to you except God is not God if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in Jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now I command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them I break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord now listen I didn't know we have an extra overflow here I want to pray for those by the side here as I stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time I'm seeing fire already here in the name of Jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you please help them so they don't injure themselves I declare I decree and I declare you are free Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of 3, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of 3, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. 1, 2, 3. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names. At the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus! 
Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Shaprakato shekete skaba embrekato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Embrekete kete keto shabarukatos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back, but I don't know why God is 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 on the case of Overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder, but that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen, but a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you, or something will happen. Right now, at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shabrakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the Spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands I'm seeing I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and I stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what God is doing main auditorium I'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of Jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen I'm seeing oh my god the Lord is opening my eyes here I'm 
I'm seeing someone. Don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed. Your father, I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest. This is someone that worships something like an idol. It's in your house. I'm not saying you're a bad person, please. I'm not saying you're a bad person. You grew up seeing this happen, that they worship those idols. That gentleman is here in overflow three. Oh, 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 yeah. Please, who is that person? Come. I want to break that thing now from your life. Please, quickly. Please make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just let make way for them. Karakol zahas kanaba kato jabra ates kene hasia. Krakato zakenda sana has kalabako prakatos. The power of witchcraft. Young man, you're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus. I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm praying. Listen. I stretch my hands towards you and I speak. I don't know what it is that you have been involved in. But in Jesus' name, I'm stretching my hands. Why am I seeing fire leaving my hands? Who is it looking for? In the name of Jesus Christ. I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out. But I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that anointing come upon you. hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance 
in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you i'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste our time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy All of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Hallelujah. please everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray hold on there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from? 
I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. What is is it Poleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you, come quickly. Please. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What do you do, my friend? You're a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on husband and wife. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God, eh? but you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives walk by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh it's a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of God make sometimes. I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman. And if my word base is not sound and balanced, I will, I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch. You see the mistake we make? That we call people and then assuming now they are married, I will now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh. You, do you know what it means to be a witch? So God is, you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful. Because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help. But it doesn't mean, imagine that I look at this lady now and say, my dear, you're a witch. No, this is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it, beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. 
it takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways? Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here, you find out, for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, assuming I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business, but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you're in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, Oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation. And then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bring, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state Benway State, now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Hi. This is your first time coming? I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? you are jobless ma huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. 
You, sir. You are a priest. I'm, I'm, I serve, my father served and died. And, Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you, your dad, your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone. Now. Out. Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Hi. Jesus' power is really superpower. Really superpower. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can live. Out. Now. Everything that is not of God. Our father is a priest, or not her uncle, direct father. Imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This, this man too, why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing, your healing power. Now, oh dear, our time is gone. This is, sometimes I honestly wish that this, this, because there are so many things I see, but we have to work with time. This lady, you, come. Hurry up now, please, come. Uh, we're out of time. Wonderful lady, look at me. You are a savior to your family. You hear what I said? You are a savior. You may look small, but you are a savior to your family. The only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. Okay? We have, we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with you. Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, okay. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands that anointing you will start having dreams receive that grace two of you need empowerment ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame 
and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come Oh, 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 I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? Uh, by Elsa. By Elsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate. Evangelist. But both of you came from yes, by Elsa. Came together, You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes, sir. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Barisa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church? Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you are an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month. And then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. You carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine. Sir, I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. 
sir what am i seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick In the name of Jesus be healed from it now I command that devil that virus go now in the name of Jesus you go and write your test bring back your results go. listen I can we you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing God wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as i pray for you now i pray for you the power of god is going to come upon you i'm going to ask you to check yourself praise the lord we may not take all the testimonies but since we have chosen this method now as soon as i pray i ask you to check yourself you will be surprised what has happened to you and whether you are in overflow one two or three i'm going to ask you to run very quickly you're going to come right here pastor jimmy will be here with pastor alpha they will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and i'll just confirm that um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus. 
I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of Jesus now I command every blood condition be healed from it now in Jesus name peptic ulcer the Lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps I command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones I decree and declare let the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly God bless you check yourself quickly Koinonia are you celebrating Jesus the Lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at God touching people already please make your way make your way the power of God has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies God bless you Koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes, and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please 
so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it in 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them the left ear. put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no biologically biologically where yeah. are you from i'm from each but i got i mean I'm Brown state. Okay. there's a reason why i said this there's a lot you don't know where you are from there is a long story leave the issue of healing now where eh? i need to pray for you don't feel bad huh look at me Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and mother, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' All name. Sir. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. And it affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises it's a wise bargain is that true in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never again in your life the power of god is coming on someone in overflow one overflow one please carry the person and bring the person overflow one the overflow by the roadside Overflow 2, sorry. Overflow 2, I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow 1 and nothing happened. I just said overflow 2. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mention the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. The name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't, she's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. 
it's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to the anointing amazing let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your hosting eh? I'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of Jesus you are perfected completely perfected in Jesus name I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Where? Eh? Debbie. It's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spoke unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating. That resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But Don't the pain believe is gone. that thing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness in the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache, and as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service, but as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Huh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Would feel press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay. you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slumped like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection it's not just the bones are what give structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back be a restoration of it 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please go ahead. So back pain. He came here with waist pain. Sorry. Waist pain. He came here with How long? serious pain. 2014. And now, it's gone. try to turn. It's gone. He Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat. You've not. You did it for him. Yes. You didn't do it for me. Ah. It looks like a footballer. Gone and gone forever. <laughs>